Hello, hello everyone, how are you today? I'm gonna start right here, right now, altering and coloring and painting my bottle. I just have a glass bottle and to be honest, I don't think I have made a video ever on altering bottle. Can you believe it? It's even hard to believe it. <laughs> I'm starting with just black gesso, just applying a delicate coat of black gesso just to prime everything a little bit. I'm gonna dry that part and then I'm gonna turn it around so I will be able to dry uh, the other part as well and paint it. Uh, I'm not uh, washing off my <laughs> my papers from from the alcohol. I don't mind because I'll be altering adding bits and pieces here and there so I really don't mind if there is any visibility of paper, well, the shape of it, not the color because it's gonna be painted, over painted. I just finished recording canvas and it's very late in the night but it's a good time because nobody's home and this is the best time when I have a lot of time to create advanced projects like that, like time consuming projects like this where like canvas is taking a lot of time and probably <laughs> bottle like this as well. Lucas is not around yet, he's still working. So this is when I don't do journal pages. I do journal pages quickly here and there <laughs> in the spare moment. Uh, so even though I'm pretty tired, I feel like I really wish to make those projects like canvas and bottle because I have been asked by you for so long, so long. Okay, let's try this and then we can add second coat, I think. Battle is dry, pretty much dry, and I have this lace here, and I do believe it's good to use, um, like I love working with white, cream, grey, bright color lace, and I not often I can find anything for this kind of color, so I think it's a perfect moment, perfect opportunity to actually use a lace like that for uh, dark colors for dark coloring of the project so that's what I'm gonna do and this lace was waiting for a very long time <laughs> to be used so I'm glad I can finally find a good use for it and the darkness of it is gonna be an asset actually in here okay so I'm just getting my um, gel medium ready mm-hmm Gel medium is great because it will last, it will hold everything for forever, <laughs> for very long. My one seems to be a little bit dry that I'm looking, but that's okay. I hope it will eventually stick for what I need. Oh, it took off some paint as well with it. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, we need this to be straight. There we go. I like that. I, I nearly love the original color now. <laughs> to leave it like that without even coloring. Hmm. We need to straighten, stra straighten this. Okay. And we need some more gel medium. I'm having 3D, I'm using 3D gel medium but Feel free to use, if you want, you can use even hot glue gun, it would work. But in this case, I rather have gel medium, I have it like, I know it's gonna be for sure, like, it's gonna hold forever and for sure. Okay, so that's what we have right now. I can take scissors and just cut it, cut it away. In somewhere in there okay there we go it's gonna be our back so let's relax <laughs> now do we need another layer do we need another layer I don't think so I don't think so but let's see I was hoping to add this metal piece. Uh, we have it in the shop, all the metal pieces. 
um, there's loads of them. Oh, that could be actually nice. I was hoping to add them. I love this. I never use them. I have them since we have them. Oh, sorry, since few months now. The metals from Meatform, but we didn't have a chance to. I didn't have a chance to use it yet. Oh, I like that maybe. Or, or here actually. Hmm. I also have this bag filled with some kind of leftovers, you know, some kind of interesting items. Trash, really. Let's face it. Let's face it. Trash to treasure. <laughs> Trash to treasure. That's nice. That could be used somewhat. Okay. We have some jewelry. What a mix! Jewelry and cogs. <laughs> cogs at the same time. But that could be nice. That could be interesting. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's see this one. This one is the same metal piece. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's so interesting. Um. Then I was thinking when everything is gonna be done and finished to actually add this. I but I don't know. I'm just now. It looks very strange right now. I know. It does look very strange because it's not finished and that's only natural that's what it is that's how it is always uh, before I start gluing the rest of them the rest of the things let's see if we can have some other interesting item to add we have lots of clocks as we can as you can see this is so beautiful about those metal and those jewelry pieces actually you know I just don't know I just don't know I could put it a little bit higher so this could be here hmm I'm looking if I'm recording but I am yeah uh, when you build a composition this is probably one of your most important part coloring is one thing but building a composite composition is equally important I was just uh, playing off camera building building and look what I have now I have those metal pieces those are from Prima if you're wondering and here as well and I have some jewelry beautiful heart then some more metal pieces and maybe butterfly here and this look <laughs> this is plastic I don't know where is this from uh, someone must have given it to me I don't know I can't remember but look this could be here <laughs> I think it would be amazing or like that even it's like it's like this cork cork I somehow have to stick it here it would be amazing once it's there and this if it's not going there maybe I can stick it no it's too high it's just oh maybe like that let's see oh I like that I love that actually wow okay so do you know what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my um, composition like here like so so I'm gonna be able to have it back you know oops remembered how it was okay because we need to stick our lace first since it's mm -hmm. so let's glue it down my definitely my gel medium is nearly dry so that's why it's not beautifully holding anything because it's just dry I have to get a new one for sure 
it I just I did just don't use gel medium that often as I could have so I'm not blaming the product to be dry because I just didn't use it a, a, a lot I'm sure I could have used it more often and you know and yeah and use it <laughs> use it and use it Marta OMG that makes no sense but you know what I mean I use a lot of Pritt stick I use a lot of hot glue gun I'm waiting for Lucas you know I was thinking that this time I'm waiting for Lucas I'm not going I was upstairs with Hannah probably five times tonight last night she had a bad night now it looks that it's not great I don't know I don't know it's a little bit frustrating when you're trying to do something like the project and concentrate and you have to <laughs> go upstairs and then you're coming back and thinking what I was like doing <laughs> okay I'm gonna be I'll check I have some gel medium here which is different brand so maybe I use that actually instead what you think maybe maybe good idea Possibly because I'm worried that these elements are so heavy, like that they have to be glued down well, you know. I am recording good, <laughs> good, good for you, good for us. <laughs> I keep on hearing Hannah, she's moving in bed a lot, and she can be awake in a minute, like, okay. Ooh. I like that. Now, as you know me, I'm not fan of having gel medium everywhere. So what I like to do is I like to just take a clean brush and take the excess off a bit because obviously you can't from everywhere everything, especially that um, you are. I will will be adding things on top of it anyway, so no stress okay so this is what we have right now then we need our metal other metal piece to go there I'm just checking if it's enough glue like this is oh it was actually sticking very nice I didn't have to lift it at all Marta <laughs> okay that's gorgeous then this one Mm -hmm. there we go and that's great because I can leave it for the night and then I can finish the project tomorrow you know that's what I was thinking that was my plan originally to be able to finish off the gluing part so I don't have to be here with the hot with the drying tool and you know I just go to sleep and finish off the project tomorrow or whenever <laughs> okay oops that's okay but I love it love it so much right now it will be nice I can I can sense it <laughs> like this and this yeah could be nice could be interesting actually so I'm gonna grab some gel medium here and there here and there, everywhere. Okay. Actually, I need some gel medium on those sides here. It's very quiet in the house in the night, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Oh, chaos. That looks great. Chaos, oh chaos, I love it. Us, I love, love, love you. I think it's a gorgeous project. It's gonna be gorgeous. Well, I hope it will. <laughs> I can only hope, isn't it? Nice, interesting composition, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was next was this one to be there. Oops, sorry, sorry. 
And I'm then sorry. Na 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 na. If I were sorry, maybe I just put it like here in the middle, and that's it. And that's gonna be it. And that's gonna be perfect. And it's gonna be wow. And the same for the butterfly. Hello, butterfly. You are gonna be here or here. I don't know, no, here. And, <laughs> well, I definitely need more glue, I feel, for more, for more glue needed. You are all <laughs> dirty from the glue. That's okay. That's fine. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna clean everything, and since Lucas is still not here, I'm gonna leave this to dry for tomorrow, and then I'm, I may start off. Another project, but a different one, like a card making or ah, or something like that. I think it's cool like this. I just don't know if this is if this has any chance to be sticked glued down. Like I think it's such a great idea. It would stick if I have anything here, like if underneath it. What? Like what? Like something that will be the maybe this? No, a bit too high, but similar. Similar. Hmm. Marta, Marta, Marta. <laughs> oh. Okay. So guys, I'm gonna leave it at that and finish of tomorrow. I will be adding black to my pieces everywhere like everywhere as you can see now everywhere everywhere I may actually add one layer since since why not <laughs> this is so crazy is this holding even? I don't know if this is holding no it is I just need more glue. I just need like a lot in there. I think. <laughs> I don't even know where did I get this thing from, like this this black thing. I have no idea. I'll see one thing. can do the coloring, the painting black, gently. Yeah, things are moving obviously, Marta. <laughs> but I can certainly try to do a little bit of black here on the lace. So guys, when everything is gonna be dry, we will be adding black everywhere and yeah, and then we do some coloring. So, I'm gonna pause this now and come back to you when everything is dry on the next day. Hello, hello, back to you the next day. Everything is dry now, all the elements and everything is dry. So it's time for us to paint it and cover it with black, all of the elements covered with black, even our black <laughs> element. So that's gonna be primed and we can just add our touch of color to it. I think off camera I added I added this uh, this 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 key. Mm, I think when I wasn't recording, so I have a little element added, but uh, it's only a small little thing. So we have to cover everything nice black, and then we add some other color. Either we're gonna use waxes or metallic paints. I'm not too sure what we're gonna use yet. Or maybe we will do everything more like um, like a rusty patina or something like that. We shall we'll see. So let's cover everything and let's dry it. And then once this is done, I'm gonna be back to you and we'll be continuing with our coloring. Back to you. The whole 
project is dry now. Hannah is asleep, Emily as well. So house is quiet, we should have some time to craft now. And it's so funny that I cannot finish out the project in like one day in one go. <laughs> no, it's like few goes. I have, I'm not too sure what I want to do with this, how to color it. Maybe a kind of rusty look, maybe. I'm not too sure. But I really want to test it and try those products, the rusty patina and turquoise teal uh, from a, this acrylic paint. So do you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it and just see how things will be. So I'm gonna be, yeah, basically just here and there trying to color it a little bit. And I'm not really, um, I'm not calling anything. I'm not trying to say, oh, this is this, this is this, you know? This is kind of moving. It feels that it didn't really uh, get too nice. Uh, it doesn't hold too nice here, so... I mean this bit, so yeah, oh well. I'm thinking to highlight a lot of that texture and maybe then I'm gonna use some gold on top of that. I don't know, you know, I don't know. But I just love the idea of using this teal. I don't know why, but I do. I just would love to use that teal. Mm. Lucas is gone to work again, but only for short. He should be home soon. So I think I'll be done with this project by the time he comes. <laughs> so he has some job today, tonight actually. <clears throat> Hannah had a bath. She was wrecked. So hopefully she will not be calling. Like I was going up yesterday, how many times? Uh, six I think overall which is a lot but she has very bad eczema but now I don't think it's eczema this time I think it's either strawberries or mm, grapes that just kind of caused it because the poor pet was itching scratching so badly so yeah I had to give her um, stronger stronger um, mm, cream unfortunately because she would just scratch out herself okay how do you like that I think it's nice I really really think it's nice I think I would like to go back with the back even though you may say oh nobody's gonna see it oh well it's nice to do it still I think <clears throat> and I, I I'm using flat brush, pretty big but flat brush. Flat works great for this gessoing, dry gessoing kind of, although it's not gesso, <laughs> it's acrylic paint, teal acrylic paint, but oh, see, this is falling. Oh well. I have my hot glue gun now on, so hopefully I'm gonna stick this and the other thing and hopefully this will hold. I love actually the bristles, the, the strokes on my project. I love that very much actually. I hope you can see pretty well. Okay, and this side as well. I love that. Now, let's try to glue this. This was nearly done, like... I don't know why it's not holding. Why is this like that? So bad, so bad. But I'm gonna try to squash it in here. Maybe it will help. No, I don't know. It's such a pity that this is not happy. And sorry if I'm in the wrong position now to you, but I'm just trying to squeeze a lot of that. I had a lot of uh, gel medium, so I don't know what. why is this like that. On the back, nobody will see indeed, so it's okay. Okay, I think we can definitely... Uh, be happy with that outcome. I will take a little bit more color. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. And because of highlighting, we're highlighting all the beautiful texture right now in there. If you tell, if you can tell. <coughs> okay. I'm not going to be touching that too much more. 
sorry I'm not I'm in the upwards position but it's because of the of the of the thing to dry now okay what about if we try to see what's the story with this um, patina thing oh no sorry it's here I think it's darker yeah it is darker so that could be really nice let's see that Nice. <clears throat> wow. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Let's see. It, I think it's a bad color in the <laughs> camera actually. I wonder how do you see it. If you anyhow see anything similar to what I see. I think I'm gonna just tap it, tap it a little bit more so I get that texture from the sand. Because it's like this sandy texture, you know. So I may just tap it in places to get that lovely, lovely texture. Mm-hmm. I like that now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's see. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Okay. I like that. Now, let's try this and then we'll try to add some maybe gold or or um brown, orange. <laughs> Okay, let's move this now. This is dry and looks really nice. I love it. Now, technically we could use waxes now. We could use Inca Gold. We could use Nouveau Mousse. But I'm going to try and do this rust, which is like this, yeah, this red. Very strange color. And you know what? I'm going to just chance it. Why not? I will get my sponge. It's like this red. Wow, but I feel that this could be so it like. Oh, yes. Do you know what? I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. A little bit closer. A little bit sharper. Sharper. There we go. I still feel we can definitely try and squeeze in the squeeze in the um, some gold or some other like metal finish but for now I think this is just amazing what do you think wow I like that not everywhere but you know in places let me guess Let me guess. <laughs> Husband ring. Yes, that was the hubby. Forgot something. He needs to be back and go again and come back and oh! <laughs> At least I have more time to record then. That's a good sign. That's a good thing. Now, I'm trying to do the edges. If you, if you have a look, I'm trying to do the edges. Really? Uh, edges of elements. So that kind of... This is moving. This is dodgy. This is very dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. Okay, so I'm just gently touching from time to time here and there, but really I'm stuck with just edges mostly, so that it feels that it's touched by the touched by the um, rust kind of feel, you know. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And now I think. It would be great if we could just have this rust around the bottom part a lot, like, let's see, and also on the edges. Hard for you to see, everything is wet and, ooh, maybe like that, okay. <coughs> Oh, 
I will do that green, <laughs> this element, when everything is dry. <laughs> okay, back is equally important as the front, isn't it? So don't forget that, guys. Okay, that's nice. Wow. I am loving this now. Wow. That's super. In, if you're wondering, this is Rusty Patina Teal. Any teal color would do. This one is Rusty Patina, Rusty for paper and more, but brown. So any product for rust really would do the magic. Now I have this Patina Effect Paste Brass from Prima, which I think we may use. Why not? I'm gonna use it maybe. Oh, it's pretty much dry out. I didn't use it for long, so maybe that's why. But it's gonna be give. It will give us a different kind of oh, color. Oh, the mix of those three are just amazing now. Whoa! So a touch of this, like gold. Well, gold, but kind of. Um, wow! This is. Wow. I don't think that I I do love that we have like both. We have the dark brown and now this kind of goldish. Wow. That looks amazing to me. Let me just get some more of that color because it's dry out. Open your project product guys. Use your products. Don't <laughs> wait because then it's going to it may be happen that it will be dry out, you know, you don't want that. Why am I not using brush? I don't know. I'm using sponge. I don't know why. I just find it maybe somehow easier. I don't know. It just that's what I just grabbed. Just just it like. <laughs> wow. I love it now. A little bit more. Those circles here would be nice to highlight. Highlight so. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So I'm gonna try to highlight those circles from the uh, from the lace. <coughs> when you color projects like that, I think everything is on board like however you feel like however your artistic sense tells you to color it it's gonna be fine take your time of course and see where this could work best better and all but I, I'm not too sure there are any sort of rules to it because when you think about the project product project uh, a, a thing that is getting rust there's no rules how things get do rust, isn't it? <laughs> so I think it's similar here. You just they just do rust in all kinds of um, places. So I think it's same here. Wherever you feel like adding your pigments, that's how you feel, and that's fine. I just touched the circles on the other side, and I felt, oh yeah, this is it. So I'm highlighting the circles now. <laughs> I'm not too sure if I have the effect of uh, um, rust now, but I love it. <laughs> and you know what? This is the main thing, guys. You have to love your process, your project. Uh, this is your art. This is your time. This is your... Um, this is you, you know. So do however um, your heart desire, however you feel like. Okay. I think I, I'm done here because I don't think I'm gonna add anything more now. I think we are really really done and dusted here guys. Seriously like maybe. Yeah, oh wow. I really love 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 it. Wow. Let me get the camera out and make it super sharp. Okay. And voila, and wow, this one is Patina Effect Paste Brass from Prima Marketing. This one is Viva Decor, I think, Viva Decor. Mm -hmm. This one is Imagination Crafts. 
so really this one is Nouveau embellishment so really guys you can use whatever you have as long as they are kind of them colors which is like brown like um, foxy color gold and tealish and this one even worked beautifully uh, to start with wow <laughs> I think we can call this project finished I and I worked if you just uh, a little one more tip I worked um, a lot on semi-dry paint so even now I'm touching it and it's I didn't use any heat tool and look it's I it's nearly dry I don't it is dry so not too much product on your sponge take a little bit sip by sip piece by piece centimeter by centimeter and you will be having something really beautiful Wow <laughs> I wonder if I should add any title to it mm, I think I will add love somewhere here maybe these are junkyard junkyard findings these are very old products from Prima nearly impossible to buy these days these are these were produced 2013 so yeah I if I see them anywhere I buy them basically um, yeah I love them very much indeed I wonder if I need this anywhere or or maybe actually me wait me me I just feel like for some title title I don't know if we need it like oh it's interesting or if not the title maybe some jewelry Okay, let's see. I'm not too sure those are any good colors, but I'm gonna see because sometimes, just because something is not the exact color, it can... Wow, okay, I'm having that. I'm loving it so much now. Oh, wow. These are, I bought them in Poland last year some sort of sticky cabochons um, is it too much or or what's going on what's going on what's going you will say oh rusty and this shine you know what I love it I like it and if you do too just do it however you feel like it guys you don't have to do how it's kind of told to be done, you know? Oh, maybe this three or one more. Or maybe like this, okay. I think it's gorgeous like that. So let's grab some hot glue. Oops. Don't burn yourself using hot glue, guys. Okay. Then the small one. It should be five, isn't it? Because technically it's five. If we had anything, it should be in fives, but oh well. Oh well. <laughs> okay, and one more. Oh, without that title, actually. Without that title, I think. Let me see. Wow! So what do you think? Do you love it? Do you like it? Because I have to say I absolutely love it and thank you so much for uh, asking me to alter a bottle and yeah I think I'm gonna do another one for definite or a jar maybe next I'm trying to fulfill all your dreams and all your wishes and I my, my list of videos to do is probably over 300 ideas collected over the past two years <laughs> I'm trying to tick the boxes but the new are coming faster than I'm able to produce so <laughs> I still hope that I'm making you happy every time you see a video from me because um, I'm really loving that and I hope you do too I need a little gold there <laughs> a little bit of dirt there nothing, zero oh, 
there is oh there we go it was like a little too too neat anyway i'm gonna wrap up at that guys and i really hope you enjoyed this um let me bring that close and very close so that you can see the detail of our work there we go and all the details i have very bright uh, this color doesn't pick up well in the camera i i think i have very um very bright lamps here with the black white desk i don't know it just doesn't seems to be so good okay maybe better now so what you think guys do you like it because i love it love it love it love it love it love it okay i'm gonna wrap up with that wishing a beautiful day hoping you will manage to accomplish some altered bottle use what you have around you metal pieces some lace or only lace a bit of uh, 3d embellishment it, you could do it with hot glue gun as well you know make like dots and lines with hot glue gun try that i may try that on the next one anyway thank you so much i love you loads but i have to go let me know for definite in the comment section what you think if you will be looking for some metal pieces check our shop because some are there and the cogs are there and some other pretty things so thank you so much i love you loads and happy crafting till the next time <laughs> i'm going to record another video <laughs> thank you so much i'll talk to you soon bye bye bye